so live at trinetrale we have a day of learning we have a day of interaction and we have a day which is going to be remembered by all of us not only here but everywhere else and because of the excellent efforts of our backup team we have with us our stalwarts our surgeons who are going to be performing live surgeries we have stalwarts on our expert panel and we have stalwarts who are going to interact with our surgeons and our expert panel so i welcome each one of you and all the efforts that have gone in are going to come true today 14th of august 2022 is going to be a day or to remember to reckon by each one of us welcome 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 dr aditi please take over a very warm welcome to each and every one of you thank you so much for joining us today so the first surgeon is none other than dr arun bhamik sir he is a senior consultant cataract cornea and refractive services at dishai hospitals he is one of the prime peco trainers of this country uh, so let's have a look at the case so with me i have stalwart helping us today so the live surgery anchors are none other than dr suvin patachaji sir dr love coach kavay sir with us they do not need any introduction so please let's have a word from you uh, ot coordinators are dr anurag mishra dr sagar bhargav dr surender prakash dr nandini chandak dr abhishek kail uh, dr bidisha das dr anisha das dr ekshita kunal and uh, i am your hall coordinator and i'll be joined by dr priyam biswas and dr soham biswas so here are the patient details nalo na yes uh, aditi Patient is planned for right eye phaco eye under topical anesthesia. Right eye counting finger at one meter. Left eye fix eighteen partial. Uh, on slit line. Doctor, are we in push? Doctor, what do we say, sir? On slit line examination. Please join us on stage. Intraocular pressure and fundus was at the normal limits. This is the slit line photograph of the patient. We can see a central PSC. This is the fundus photograph. The media is easy in right eye. And here's the OCT picture. The specular micro biomicroscopy. Panel, panel for life cycle. And this is the biometry. The IL for calculated is plus twenty five after. And the patient is planned for lens Lucia panel. Welcome, Professor Pradeep Bishesh, to the panel, and welcome to other dignitaries. So Arup is all ready to go. So are you ready? Are you able to? We see can see the video in the hall. I. Are we starting the surgery, Doctor Aru? Yeah, uh, I am ready. Uh, hello, this is slightly as I am using Lumera. That is the actual picture. This is slightly um, the advanced cataract is a kind of maturity uh, probably, and I am just on the Lumera uh, enhanced uh, red glow. That's why I can see the red glow. So this is I, I prefer to give a uh, uh, all is a. Uh, around can i have the vary and off yes so uh, 2.2 incision uh preferably i i prefer to have a 2.4 incision actually just increase a little bit <coughs> so as there is a some kind of hypothesis this and uh, red blood is not very visible this side so but to stain the capsule with the blue so if you had the right arup you using a 2.2 uh blade yeah, to start but you enlarge it enlarge to 2.4 for comfort yes yes i start the 2.2 and i just increase the inner lip inner lip so i think the first take home message do not stress the wound so i think that says probably Yes. Don't stress the wound. So it be the it better to have the slightly bigger wound, but definitely not to leak leak wound. Can I? Uh, my picture is absolutely focused now. 
audience please uh, feel free to ask a question just raise your hand get our attention anyone in attention over here and we'll be happy to pass on your question to the, the surgeon panel anybody okay. dr arup what what magnification are you working on uh i think uh, uh, you can see this from the magnification point uh, almost point 9 Uh, one night one night it is uh, best fit in your uh, uh, screen or i'll reduce light you may reduce a little getting a little pixelated over yeah, here so yeah. yes that's yeah, better yeah, that's better, better. that's better. better it's okay now yes, yes, yes perfect okay okay thank you so uh to side port i have meant as a 1 mm and rexis i always try to do 4.9 4.8 to 4.9 rexis slightly hyper mature stage mature stage so i have to be very careful during rexis so in this case i am going to implant ct <laughs> lucia that is a jais lens which is a monofocal aspheric lens hello hello tabhi बेटर सो सो आई कीपिंग माय पावर स्लाइटली लो How much power? Uh, you don't prefer to use the Rexis marker in the area. Looks like. Does it give an additional advantage for the accuracy of the size? Uh, CT Lucia. I always prefer uh, to uh, CT Lucia do a slightly uh, 4.8, slightly slower, lower, uh, reduce the size 4.9 or 4.8. Prefer to. Um, what is important is vacuum is seven hundred, aspiration fifty, and IOP twenty. Is it this? Ah, uh, this machine is very stable machine, you know, and and even in high parameter you uh, you cannot feel anything, and you can finish off the surgery very quickly. If the panel would like to ask a question or offer a comment, please go ahead. Feel free. Arup is a seasoned surgeon, so he won't uh, get disturbed. This is a uh, I I have shown you earlier. This is a my new de design of my manual, which is notch notch in the tip, so that I can rub in the equator at least once. Can I have a poly? So blade, one blade, sir. लेकिन
Microsoft Now I, I just using. Uh, can I have that? Will you go? Just as the last time for the demonstration parser, I am using CT Lusa in the live side ready. I as I just. Okay. Uh, for I did this my generally I uh, prefer to implant uh, with uh, high, uh, with under hydro hydro implantation, but here I am putting some uh, viscoelastic and keep my uh, irrigation off and this is a new injector system of uh, CT Lucia this is a, one of the best is available a preloaded lens uh, uh, platform in, in market you can see the ease of implantation it's a very easy to implant in CT Lucia this is a, one of the best I can tell you this is a one of the best. This is not the best. I think uh, BVNX uh, has the best uh, uh, preloaded in injector system. And apart from PVNUT, this is probably this one the best. You can see the lens. This is a clear lens, though CT Lucia is available in yellow platform also. Uh, but this is a rim. In the <laughs> optics, I prefer to keep the uh, braces inside the, that ring so that you can utilize the full uh, uh, 360 degree square system. And I am implanting this lens uh, last uh, almost one year. I uh, the I don't see any any kind of PCO PCO in these cases. Uh, but definitely regarding the PCO, uh, I have to wait. Uh, another couple of years to comment on this but it looks like a very promising in case in respect of the post capsular opacification another thing this lens is a aspheric monofocal uh, this is a uh, lens and it has a less affection uh, less effect in the visual quality when it decentered and uh, this is a, a nice edge 360 degree edge which can prevent pco and another new thing, this lens is heparin coated. I don't know uh, whether it is uh, in um, it is really useful or not. But uh, way back to 15 years, 20 years, we used to use a heparin coated lens in the children, pediatric group to reduce the PCO. The, they are coming with the, this lens as a heparin coated. Uh, hopefully, it will have some effect in the PCO. Look at the lens. <laughs> so I am uh, I'm finishing my case uh, I have given <laughs> Uh, what was that uh, instrument using? Uh, so, I put a finger. What was that? Uh, that uh, uh, can you please? Uh, what was the instrument in your right eye at the end of the surgery? Right hand? Uh, right hand? Uh, I don't have any, any special instrument. This is a cannula. This is a cannula, the bent cannula. Uh, okay. You can see this is the bent cannula. This is the same. Uh, no, no. I have a. Tarok with me for last 22 years, he bent this cannula suddenly one day. He will tell me that it will um, hydrate the, uh, is it better? And this is a normal viscoat cannula, he bent it for me. And uh, it is a very easy to hydrate once, once. And it is really need to hydrate more. So, it is a double bent cannula, double bent cannula. Double bent cannula, yes. So, this is a double bent cannula, I can see this. I am just reducing the... Uh, Actually, it reminded me of a chopper which was used long back, which is called the finger. Uh, he's got cannula. He bent double bent cannula so that it easily yeah. come come in the my side port. Yeah, yeah. I got I get a point because always we end up hydrating the other edge of the side port, which is away from us, because that's easier access. And hydrating this limb of the side port is very difficult. Proper that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. That's a wonderful tip. <laughs> Thank you, Shobenda. Thank you, Arup. Uh, big Thank applause you for everyone for your Arup Bomik. Big applause. Big applause, yes. Talibayan, <laughs> Lokne.
<laughs> so, all of, uh, so that was a fantastic surgery, for a live surgery being done for the first time. Live surgery, yes, uh, definitely. Now, uh, you, me, and some of us doing regularly live surgery, oh, we don't feel any pressure. <laughs> we didn't have any uh, adrenal rush. Probably my pulse rate is still 68. But definitely, first few uh, live surgery, I, I remember I have a pulse rate is 130, 130 <laughs> plus. So, uh, today, maybe I don't have that the high pulse rate, maybe less than 70. But definitely, it is uh, it is it is a process. Uh, everyone have to go this. Absolutely. What do you feel of the machine that uh, you worked on? You worked on the Centurion. Yeah, I am using Centurion uh, almost uh, last uh, six uh, seven years almost. Uh, this is a very good machine. Especially uh, the active fluid is is a game changer. Active fluid is and the combination of balanced TV. And once again. I am this, uh, you have to, it has a learning process in a centurion. And I am struggling to using the balanced TV and I, I always admit that I have a immense benefit to see uh, the, the uh, surgery of Dr. Jayangshu Shangupta in the earlier stage, uh, how to use a balanced TV. That time I am really struggling to the hold and after that, I, I once I understand, I change my uh, technique uh, according to my ease. Right. So uh, this is a very good machine, uh, definitely uh, Centurion and Infinity also very good machine, uh, but unfortunately they, they will discontinue this machine from the market. Uh, both the machine is very good and in fact the mar uh, nowadays all the machine is uh, really standard uh, which are in the market, no, absolutely. But definitely, this machine has a definite cutting as with the balance tip. Yeah. So the balance tip you use for all uh, all cases, cancer. all get. Uh, I, I don't use anything apart from the balance tip. And uh, it, this uh, with the active fluid, this with the balance tip, you if you balance your surgery, you can able to do the seriously. This is a perfect surgery within three four minutes. Right. Absolutely. Oh, really wonderful. When I can, uh, and uh, even after uh, last couple of years with the balance tip and the century, and even my surgery uh, uh, speed up. Thank you very much, Arup. Uh, Aditi or uh, Soham, uh, can you introduce the next slides, please? Dr. Joangshu is ready.